When first playing Chivalry 1 or Mordhau, players went into battle expecting what they saw in the trailers. Intense sword fighting, quick exchanges, a small lapse in judgement and you're on the ground with one less limb. At the lower levels, they by and large received this experience. That is, until they encountered players that could drag, and the realisation sank in, you're playing a balloon animal fighting game. Hey Reddit, what do I call this drag? Um, oh. You would think, you know, that, 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 is, that is the worst case scenario. I don't see how you come back from that. I can't really understand how anyone... Um, yeah, that's freaked me out a little bit. That's done me. I feel a bit sick. I feel like I'm going to chuck my breakfast up. Let's define dragging. A lot of people confuse the term with swing manipulation as a whole, which is the term chivalry coined for controlling your weapon's path mid-attack. Swing manip itself is beautiful, it's what made chivalry 1 so visceral, granting you control over your weapon that no other game had previously offered. It allowed you to hit around a teammate, to track an enemy, or to target switch between different enemies. But this freedom also resulted in unforeseen tactics like backswinging or other extreme accelerated attacks, and also the opposite, deliberately decelerating your attack by dragging your mouse away from your opponent in order to bypass their parry. People will often debate over whether dragging is an exploit or not, and I don't think the result of that debate should dictate whether or not a mechanic should be removed, but it's interesting nonetheless. I was able to hunt down this post from a now deleted torn banner forum thread by one of the Chivalry 1 developers discussing the emergence of dragging back in 2013, and I think he summarised the issue succinctly. Some players have discovered that with the slower weapons you can actually make someone block by attacking and then drag your mouse to the right for long enough that their parry comes down and you hit them with the strike when it comes. This is not intended and I struggled for a while with whether or not it should be a valid tactic or be addressed as it is a very creative manoeuvre. However, at the end of the day these decelerated swings feel wrong because they aren't properly shown to your opponent and they generate a ton of confusion. We will likely increase the release speed of the slower weapons so that you can still control your swings like with all other weapons but not to a comical or cartoonish point. Despite taking this anti-dragging stance, Tom Banner were unable to fix dragging in Chivalry 1, which alongside reverse swings led to the player base evaporating, leaving behind a sea of red steam reviews warning any would-be buyers of the exploiters swarming the few remaining populated servers. A weak attempt was made to legitimise dragging by adding a cheerful loading screen tip but this of course did nothing to sustain the suspension of disbelief when witnessing players purposefully decelerating their swords, nor did it help sustain the player base. Later, in 2019, the CEO of Tom Banner would post an article reflecting on chivalry medieval warfare, where once again dragging was identified as an abuse of the real-time swing system, and acknowledging that they should have fixed it and never did. Confusingly, Tom Banner would again go on to half-heartedly embrace not only dragging but also reverse swings during the run-up to the launch of Chivalry 2. In the FAQ section, they tried to assure us that dragging would be limited and that swings would have a higher sense of momentum. A quick hop on Chivalry 2 demonstrates that this really isn't the case. Despite the held parry system, dragging in Chivalry 2 is still meta due to the stamina lost when holding parry, and top players will of course leverage every advantage available to win. This leads to my stance on dragging. If a meta game encourages the deliberate deceleration of your attack, the combat will always look atrocious. It is impossible to make dragging look visually appealing to a casual audience. Even if there is skill involved, the majority of players will quickly walk away from the genre with a fairly accurate assessment that the combat revolves around animation abuse. Maud House CEO recently expressed his surprise at why players feel this way, claiming that the underlying reason isn't entirely clear and went on to compare drags to the unrealistic mechanics found in Call of Duty like quickscoping. To me, this statement is disingenuous. Even reverse swings, which are still rather commonplace in Mordhau, are easier to embrace. At least they're fast-paced and flashy, similar to the exploits that are adopted in the FPS genre, such as rocket jumping and quickscoping. These obviously aren't realistic tactics for a soldier in the real world to attempt, but you can understand how they're efficient within a video game, and they're somewhat rooted within the laws of physics. Drags, on the other hand, are visually indefensible. They're slow, ugly, and defy Newton's laws. Why would you ever decelerate your weapon before it impacts your opponent? Despite the largely successful and ongoing attempt to restrain extreme drags within Mordhau, the devs simultaneously do their absolute best to disguise that dragging even exists within their game. The combat dev blog ignored it entirely, as does the tutorial, and the gameplay footage displayed on their official YouTube channel illustrates two of the devs going back and forth with aesthetically pleasing excels until one of them neglects to parry. To anyone remotely familiar with the game now, it's clearly an inaccurate representation of the combat system, where janky riposte drags and excels completely dominate the meta. 
It should come as no surprise to the developers that their players are triggered when encountering drags when the game was actively marketed as a cleaner version of chivalry. The drag Excel mix-up is superior to the feint in every aspect. Drags cost no stamina. A drag can't be chambered. When in repost, the player can't be gambled by a kick or any other attack. A drag can't be double parried, and in some cases, they are harder to read than a feint. So of course, high-level Mordhau revolves around dragging, and the combat system contorts into an endurance test on who can guess their parry timing correctly versus their opponent's balloon animal, mitigating the unreadability where they can with footwork. Due to the stale combat and only one minor patch so far in 2021, Mordhau finds itself alongside Chivalry 1, in the same boat. Walking on the fight inside of me. Well, that don't look like it. La, 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 la. It goes down. It don't. It don't go down. Robert, it goes down. No, it don't. It do go down. Oh! <laughs> don't, don't. Casual players who have no commitment to the genre are quick to find the uninstall button and even top players must realise, perhaps subconsciously, that this isn't the gameplay that they initially signed up for. It doesn't help that Mordhau offers no resources for learning any of its hidden mechanics, the only option is to turn to Stouty Coaching, link in the description. Unlike in previous videos, I'm not proposing any solutions, nor am I asking for drags to be removed from Mordhau. My conclusion is simple, I think the first person melee genre has the potential to explode, to even dethrone FPS but it can't include dragging. I needed to take a breather and get some fresh air. Luckily, before too long, I was back to my old self. All right, girls? Hiya. You all right, love? A couple of salts. Right up my street. <laughs>